So welcome back to another show, recorded one, and today I'm going to do my player ratings. And if you do like the video, could you please stick a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and also leave your comments and sections down the bottom after the video. Yeah, so I finished once each, and I thought it was a good point for Newcastle, and it could be a lot, lot worse if Benteke's header would have stood three minutes from the time. But we started a lot shoddily, and um, there's a lovely cross at Edouard, and obviously Ben Teke should have done better than that. He skied it over after a few hours, so that's the warning sign for Newcastle, really, and he had to fix up. Then, we had a couple of good chances there. I mean, Kraft's efforts was clear off the line by Paris defender, and then Wilson short side netted, and yeah, it wasn't a great first half. We were poor, let's be real about it. And then in the second half, I mean... Palace um, came out and they got the goal which was deserved. Ben Teke got us. The cross came in and he headed in the back of the net. And where was our defence? Our defence is an absolute joke. Allowing him to get ahead of him. And Darlow had no chance of getting there. But the equalizer came nine minutes later. And the cross came in from a corner. And Richie is headed down. And then Wilson's over kick was an absolute puller. Absolute puller. And... And leveled the, the scores, but was it? Um, do you deserve that equalizing goal on the bounce of play? No, but we got it, and it was kind of game on. And then we looked a little bit better without any cutting edge. And then Palace thought they won the game when a quarter came in, and Benteke rose up, was his head up high into the back of the net, but oh, through four foul ruled out as Kieran Clark was fouled by Gooey. And it was a right call. I thought at the time, I did a rush on with Paul. I thought, oh my God, that's game over there. Like, it did not look great because our defence was absolutely shocking again. So, here's what it is. We've got a point. And Graham Jones' first game as caretaker manager. And he has got a point. And we do need a new manager in ASAP because we've got Chelsea coming up on Saturday. And then we've got Brighton away. And... By the time we play Chelsea, we could be six points adrift from safety. Not where we want to be. So, I'm going to go on to the player ratings. And I'm going to go with Cardalo. Look, listen, it was all okay performance. He did a couple of good catches there. But what was he doing in the second half? Running race out of his um, area and clad into our centre-backs. That could be costly. One would have gone the back of the net. Not only that, he had no chance. So I'm not going to slate him for that. But at the end of the day, he needs to calm the defence down, which I haven't been doing. That's only Mr. Bracker. So I'm going to give him 5 out of 10. And I'm going to go on to Mancredo. I think he did okay. I mean, listen, he didn't do anything great. But he didn't do anything awful for me. But he came better shutting down the crosses. And as a centre-back struggled to deal with at times. But listen, what you see for Javier is what you're going to get. That he did okay. So I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. I'm going to go on to Emerald Craft. I mean, I was absolutely shot when he's in the team. In the team, and I thought, wow, does Graham Jones believe in this guy? But listen, it was far, far worse before my idea. It was unlucky he had that shot, which cleared off the line. He did an excellent tackle from Benteke, and, and he showed commitment as well. So listen, he hit the best play, and listen, let's hope he steps up now because he needs to fix up very quickly. But... You're in a relegation fight, is he up for it? Or when the new manager comes in, it could be Pablo, Pablo Fonseca. Then, we're about to find out, won't we? So I'm going to give Emil Kraft, this is going to be a surprise to a few people. I'm going to give him, yeah, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. On to Jamal Lascelles. Listen, he did okay of his organisation positioning, but my God, his ball playing ability is absolutely poor. He keeps the ball away. Got the yellow card as well. And I tell you what now, if Fonseca comes in, it stays as non bad. I'll be real. He will not be playing for Fonseca at all because he wants defenders to play out from the back. This player ain't good enough. And I'm going to give Lascelles a 3 out of 10. I didn't think he was that great today. Kieran Clark, I'm going to give him a 3 as well. Listen, he shouldn't be in the team again. I think his time in Newcastle is done. But listen, when he's in, he does try his best. But my God, I mean, it was a fall for the Benteke school. I thought he was weak. And at this moment in time, he's so easily bullied for the players like Benteke. 
I can imagine Lukaku was playing on Saturday and faced Kieran Clark to be one with her there. Let's be real. And I think for me, Kieran's time in Newcastle is finished. I think he needs to be moved on. So I've got to give him, yeah, I've got to give him a three as well. I didn't think exactly it as well. And I'll go on to Matt Ritchie. Listen, that set up, um, that corner got us a goal, right? It's set piece delivery. It's a big, big issue for me. It's not, it's not to the stand that we need at this football club. Yeah. I think he's, and that one's gone backwards. I have to agree with PD Pollock as well. I think he's gone backwards as well. I think he's done at Newcastle. I love his passion. And yeah, I'm going to give um, Richie a 4 out of 10. Let's be real. And I think he needs to be dropped from the team as well and give Jamal Lewis a go. Yeah. We're going to go straight to the midfield. I'm um, Sean Lundstaff. I'm going to start with him. I'm going to give him a 4 as well. Listen, he did okay in moments. Then some moments, I'm not being funny, it still concerns about lack of fitness for me. He gives the ball way too easy on many occasions and that's not acceptable for this football club. Yeah, he needs to fix up very quickly. Yeah, it's his head turned. I've said this before. It's his head turned to another club because he's out of contract at the end of the season. And is he going to fit into a Fesaka team if he does come? I don't know. But we do need better midfielder players. We need creativity. We need a uh, destroyer. Talking of destroyer, I think Hayden, Isaac Hayden has lost his way. I'm going to give him a four as well. Listen. He did, I mean, he went for a 15 tackle, which I think he just got away with it. He could have got put for that. But I'm not being funny, but his fitness levels at this club at the minute. I just don't know what's wrong with this guy. I really don't. Listen, I love Isaac. I really, really do. But our midfield is too passive. And I've yet to see the real Isaac Hayden. Sure, it's best. And he hasn't really done that this season. I've been very disappointed with him. And he's looked way off the piss as well. So I'm giving him 4 out of 10 as well. And, let's be real, I mean, we can't drop him because he's one of the best players we've got, but he's just not showing it at all. So, 4 out of 10 for Hayden. On to Fraser, his first start of the season, I believe. And let's be real, it's not been impressive at all whatsoever. I mean, Bournemouth fans, has he? have you ever seen him play in midfield when he's been at your club? Because I've never seen Ryan play in midfield or central midfield. Not at all. Out of position yet again. Yeah? But is position a left winger or a right winger? Put decent crosses in. And I'm sorry, but I've yet to see that from him. Don't get us wrong, he's not playing any games. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if he's going to start matches, it's got to play on this correct position. And that's on the left side or right side of midfield. Yeah? I'm going to get fierce at 3 out of 10. And ASM. Listen, I do love ASM lots, yeah? But let's be real. I just don't think... I think it's just the worst performance of the season. In fact, the worst performance I've seen of him playing for Newcastle, yeah? He didn't carry any threat. He gives the ball away way too much. And if he's going to play in that position, he needs to fix up. Because at the end of the day, playing the turn rule is not his position. His position is on the left wing, where he can create fullbacks problems, yeah? And put some decent cross in. Yeah, his final ball needs to be worked out as well, by the way. I love him, but he was not that great today. And when it, against Chelsea, they're going to need to show up, he needs to see what well, we want to see what he's all about because he can be a player that can destroy teams. He can absolutely be man in the match every single week for his performances. But last Saturday, he was definitely not my man in the match, yeah? And let's be real. I hope he fixes up very soon. I'm going to give ASM... Yeah, I'm going to give him a 3 out of 10 as well. Am I being harsh? Leave a comments down there in the section down below. And on to the main man, Callum Wilson. I'll say something about Callum, yeah? He is so important to us this season, right? He scored, what, four goals in five games? Yeah? And if he don't get injured too much and plays the whole season... We could stay up because his scores is going to be absolutely important to us, yeah? And he needs to get the correct service at the right time. And our midfield can't do that. That's why we need a creativity in the midfield. And if we can get that, then maybe, just maybe, he could be the man to finish some more chances and score some more goals, yeah? But that overhead kit, man, was absolutely lit. So lit. How not be like Ronaldo or Messi or Lewandowski? 
we'll still be talking about it this very, very dear. But I guess it's Callum Wilson. He's not as big as these three. Yeah, cracking goal. And he saved us bacon yet again. So Callum Wilson, because he's got that wonder goal, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 man and a match. Because that goal wins any games. And let's go on to the substitutes. We're going to go on to Miguel Amiron. Listen, it's been an encouraging cameo for me. R3 caused a lot of problems, so they came direct to push. That's what I love to see for him. Get that ball. Run. Direct. Take on players. No side passes, by the way. Have a goal. Direct. Yeah. And this is the thing. I want to see this guy's number 10 rule. Yeah. If Fonseca's going to play three at the back, he plays three, four, two, one anyway. He'd be perfect for the rule. Yeah. And he's got to be starting on the new manager. No doubt about it. Yeah. And he got to start next week. Yeah, so I'm going to give Miggy, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10, because I thought he did okay, you know. So I'll give him a 6. And then on to Joe Willock. Listen, he didn't do much when he came on the pitch, yeah, but his work rate and mobility means he should be in the starting berth this Saturday coming. And I love Joe Willock, yeah, but I want to see the Joe Willock from last season. And he's not been doing it, but that's not his fault. That's down to Bruce, who's just been sat, yeah. So I'm going to give him a standard 5. Joel Linton, I'm going to give him a, a four. I can't give him too much. He didn't do much anyway, let's be real. So I'm going to give him a four. But it's moment when he was booked. And on to Graham Jones, I'm going to give him... Yeah, I'm going to give him a six. I thought he got a tactic spot on there today. You know, play theatre back. It looks like a 3-4-3. Three, three. And, yeah, I feel he'll do okay. But, again... Our defence needs to be fixed up because we are so easy to play against our defence. And that's why Ben Teke should have scored four or five goals. And that chance he had in the second half, he just poked it past the post. And that would have been game over because that would have been absolutely embarrassing. Where was our defence, by the way? So I think Graham Jones has got to do okay. And one thing about Graham Jones, he gets them, he's getting the players in. Um, training five days a week. That's something Steve Bruce didn't do at all whatsoever. It's work, work, work. And that's what I see from our players, yeah? Get used to it. You'd be doing five days a week. It could be two training sessions in a day. So, the bottom line is, I'm happy with a point. I didn't think play that well. But, I have to get behind the team. I have to get behind the manager and the players at his disposal. Yeah, so, yeah. What do you think of the play ratings, guys? If you agree with me ratings, please drop a comment section down below. Please do subscribe and also stick a like on the video as well. And also you'll be on the Four Horsemen of Tune in about half an hour's time. So please join us for that and have a cracking, cracking evening. And um, watch what you're doing and um, enjoy the evening we've got to do. Until then, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Oh, we the lads.